What's up guys? We're at the mall here with my boy Joseph, the most anointed man ever. Well, we're both anointed, but you get it. But we're going to be evangelizing and preaching the gospel. Vandalizing the gates of hell in Jesus' mm. name. Yep. You guys need to follow the... Oh, I almost said the flesh. I rebuke that. <laughs> the spirit. The spirit. That. You need to follow the spirit, not the flesh. Because if you follow the spirit, the Lord's going to bless you greatly. And, I mean, why not? You know? Right. Okay, I have a question for you guys. Where do you guys think you're going to go when you die? Um... I no. think I'm going to go to heaven. Heaven, heaven why? Uh, because I go to church and I pray to God every day. Yes. And I leave. I just want to let you know something. Going to church and saying you're a Christian doesn't necessarily mean that you're going to heaven. You Like, you, the Lord wants you to have a true relationship with Him. Like, for example, you can't have... Like, when you have a relationship with your girlfriend, you don't like... She's not out. Out. <laughs> like, like, but y'all know what I mean? Like, you don't like hang out with her like once a week. Like, you go to church. You have quality time with her. That's what Jesus wants. So, um, I don't know. Y'all have accepted uh, Jesus in your life, right? Yeah. Yes. Why don't you encourage y'all? Don't follow the flesh, follow the spirit. Because Jesus Christ truly loves you. He wants to have a real relationship with you. Not just a relationship where you go to church every week, pray. Like, he wants a true relationship. Like, you got to get in that word. And, like, yeah, but I, can I just pray for y'all quick? Huh? Can sure. I pray for y'all? Sure. Lord, I pray for these three men of God, Lord, and I pray that you would be with them, and I, I pray that you would just help them to be more in your word, Lord, and that they would have a true relationship with you, and any anxiety or depression that they may have, that you would, uh, any addictions, that you would free them from the Lord, and that you would bless them. And then I pray, and Y'all have a blessed day. You too, man. Yeah. Alright, guys, well, we kind of got kicked out of the mall, but don't let that stop you. There's many other places that's where we're going to go to, so we're going to be a menace to the kingdom of darkness. In hey, Jesus' name! Let's get it. All right, guys. If y'all haven't seen my one of my videos, this is actually the first place I preached the gospel. This is the first place. Let's go do it again. Let's get it. Can I tell y'all something real quick? Just one second. It's the most exciting thing I'm here all day. That Jesus Christ loves each and every one of you, and you guys have to repent and leave the gospel before He comes back. He truly wants a relationship with you, and when He comes back, He's not coming back for a lukewarm Christian. He's going back for someone who truly wants to have a relationship with Him. And I'm 16 years old, and Jesus healed me, and He set me free from so many things. He delivered me. I was depressed. I was suicidal. And Jesus set me free. And if He can do the same thing for me, He can do the same thing for you. He's a true Jesus Christ is coming back. He's coming back like a thief in the night. Nobody will know. But it's up to you if you want to receive Him in your heart. He's not going to force Himself upon you. It's up to you if you want to receive Him. May the Lord bless y'all. Thank y'all for letting us share this to y'all. In Jesus' name, God bless you. God bless y'all. Sir. Sir. Right here, sir. Wait, just one second. One second. Bro, it's different. Hey, Jesus. Good morning, guys. Gotta go. Oh, okay. Have a blessed day. I see your shirt. I love it, bro. Um, have you said to Jesus in your life? Yeah. You love him. Yeah. You want to give a true relationship with him? Yeah. That's awesome. Well, I just want to let you know the Lord spoke through me that. You're going to be used a lot. Like, of course, like now I'm evangelizing. That's what I'm called to do. But yeah. he's going to use you a lot. Have you had a calling before? Yeah. What's your calling? To preach, to teach people. Wow. Yeah. How Have you been, have you been doing it? Yeah. That's awesome. We have a Christian club over there right now. That's awesome. Yeah, I have a Jesus club at my school. Real? All right, well, can I pray for you? Just that you would continue using me? Yeah, let's pray, bro. Yeah, all right. What's your name? I'm Nick. Nick? You? All right. My name is David. I was David. It's nice to meet you, bro. All right. Well, Lord, I pray for Nick right now, Lord. I pray that he would just continue his calling, Lord, and preach the gospel to all creation. Like Mark 16, 15 says, go preach the gospel to all creation. And I pray that you would continue to use him for your glory, not not for him, but for you, Lord, and that he would continue to pursue, pursue you. In the name I pray, amen. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you, bro. You too. Let's get a snack, bro. Let me bear. Get some of these, bro. It looks like the apple pie, right? Yes. Yeah. yeah, I just want to let you know that Jesus Christ truly really loves you. Mm -hmm. He wants a relationship. I mean, he fool he died on the cross for your sins. Fully and only, he went on that cross and said, I'm going to die on the cross for your sins. So, yeah, I just want to let you know that. All right. And if you're doing things, depression, anxiety, like he can he deliver that. If he did it for me, he can do it for you. If he can do it for him, he can do it for you. So, yeah, I just want to let you know that. All right. Can I get y'all's attention? Just one second real quick. This is the most exciting news I've here all day. 
that Jesus Christ truly loves you guys and he died on the cross for your sins. He went up on that cross fully knew that he wasn't going to do it. He was going to do it for you, each and every one of you. And he truly loves you guys. So if you guys are pen reading the gospel before he comes back, God bless y'all. Let's get it. Hey, I got a question for you. Do you love Jesus Christ? What? Do you love Jesus Christ? Yeah. Have you accepted him into your life as your Lord and Savior? Yeah. All right, all right, no, no, no. Jesus Christ loves you. <laughs> All right, guys, this is the laughing crab. The laughing crab. You know, people won't be laughing when they burn in the pit of hell. So repent and believe in the gospel before he comes back and it's too late. Alrighty, where do y'all think you're gonna go when you die? Where do I think I'm gonna go when I die? Probably a hole. The eternal void. The eternal void? Mm-hmm. What, 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 is that like, is that like hell? Is that what you're saying? Or is it just black. a void? It's just Nothing. black? Where do you think you're gonna go, what'd you say? No. no where there's you nowhere just... to go because there's nowhere for me to go since I'm dead. I'll let you know that Jesus Christ truly loves you. Okay. And he wants a relationship with you. Mm -hmm. And it's like he's delivering you from so many things. And if you can do it for me, I believe he can do it for you. Mm -hmm. And even though you may, it may not seem like it, but he truly does love you guys. He died on the cross. He, there's, there's scientific fact that Jesus lived. Mm -hmm. And he died on the cross. He fully not only knew that people wouldn't truly love him. And that he would still do it, he would die on the cross for your sins, so you could have eternal life in heaven. So I just want to let you know that, and yeah, so Romans 10, 9 says you confess and not believe in heaven and save. So... What if I don't confess? Then you won't go to heaven. Oh. That's just, sorry, that sounded kind of straight up, but yeah. I mean, it's straight up, yeah. But when I, when I chose to give my life to Christ, it was really a big, like, it was really a big like difference. Like I could tell that the Lord delivered me. Like David, has the Lord delivered you for something? What was it? It was, it was pornography. Pornography. Yeah. Same. And well, I can say the same thing of when I left Christianity. So. Really? Mm -hmm. When did you leave Christianity? About ten years ago. Why is that? I'm just curious. You mind if I ask? Um, it wasn't for me. They didn't align with the values that I have in my morals. What are your values? I accept gay people. I am pro-choice. I believe that other religions should be respected and other people should be respected. And I don't force, I wouldn't force my morals or beliefs on other people. Well, I just want to let you know, so I'm not, am I, does it sound like I'm forcing something on you right now? Sort of, I mean, you're Sort of, oh, I'm not trying seconds. to. Yeah. Sorry, you want me to leave now? It's yeah. 60 seconds. You want me to leave? Okay. Yeah. I just want to show you Jesus Christ loves you. You have a blessed day. Thank you. Alrighty guys, thanks for watching the video. Make sure to like and subscribe to keep supporting what I do and go tell someone about Jesus. Peace.